Okay guys, so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go over something which is what I use to the power on this ship. The 9927 5x5x5 reactor pattern is the one that we've covered before. So I'm just going to look at that one today uh, in regards to extending it, you know, infinitely, in any direction, uh, as far as you want. So, uh, no it's not that one, it's that one. So if I just buy one of these, okay, and it should pop one somewhere okay so this is the plan for the 9927 I covered it in an earlier video it's not my design I just found it and I'm just sort of bringing it to you guys so that's the design each each sort of group of 5x5 five five there is the layers and they're put in order of height alright now if we just imagine for a second that we're gonna make this along the Z axis that means front to back and then we're going to use symmetry along the X and the Y axis to borrow each side. So we're going to borrow two sides at once, meaning that we're going to build a 9x9 nine nine reactor, but we're going to use the 5x5 five five plan. So let's get started. So we're going to start by creating the ship. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to just build it straight off of the core. So I would probably recommend going down, say, three to give me enough room to build a cabin. There's the floor. Okay, and then we're going to go down a bit more. So, da -da 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 -da. maybe four blocks, like that. And yeah, maybe another one. Okay, because you want to build your ship. This is going to be a big ship, so here we go. Uh, now, press Control, hit XZ, and offset symmetry mode. So, we're going to put it there. And the same one on the bottom block. So, I've put both symmetry points to this bottom block here. Okay? Right, now, just to give myself a bit of a back to work off, I'm just going to make an area which I could put a 5x5 five five reactor onto. So, here we go. Now, 5x5 five five needs 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm done. So what that means, okay, is... Oh, right, the 5x5 five five reactor is going to go here. Okay. And we're going to be using this plan. So, that plan. Alright? Now, the way that the symmetry allows you to extend it, because it will naturally rotate the pattern for you and it will still be correct. So, we'll go one, two, three. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> There we go. So that's layer one done. So we start by putting in our shields. All right. Now the next layer, of course, is the first set of tails. So we're going to put one in the middle and cover the shield blocks and then tail it around. This side is the opposite. So you can see it goes like that. So that means this one is going to be doing the same thing on this side. So you see how it's sort of like a, a cross with a tail on the end, offset. Anyway, you sort of learn the pattern through repetition. Uh, but I'm just going to fill that one in there. Okay, so that's layer two. Now the middle layer is nice and easy, so we put a cross in the middle and then cap the corners like that. And then fill it in with shields. Excellent. Okay. Now the next layer is the opposite of the first layer. So we know that we did the tail that way last time. So that means we're going to do it this way this time. And we do the opposite down here. And the tails go around like that. Hang on a minute. Just going to check that because. I'm not 100% confident I put the tails the right way around. Do, 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 do. This is why I like having this here, because even I get, get it wrong. So it's going the same way. It's going the same way. The tails go the same way. So that's right. I did that right. Okay. So then we do the next one. And this is the opposite of layer one. So if, we, if we're not sure, I mean, I know I just put it on the shields. There's two shields there, so that's where the tail's going to go. It's going to start there. So. If I just look though, it's that way here, and then one, two, three, to the opposite this way. 
okay a pattern will emerge which allows you to check it really easily so just make sure you can still see the sides and and as you can see with the symmetry we've built see it's mirroring it there it's mirroring it there and it's mirroring it there nice and easy okay so we'll put one in the middle shields fill in you can always use power tanks as well sometimes I do that if the shields hit you know once you've hit a certain amount of shields alright so now we've got a 5x9 okay and you can see that the pattern is correct up here I always check it on the top because it's easy to see now to extend this out you're actually gonna have to do the uh, go backwards now down the plan and uh, it's really easy to do that see here if we're going backwards that means our tail starts here see it's a mirror of what you're working on so there you go there's your tail it's gonna come down like no not like that because then it would join with the middle so of course it must be like this and then we do the mirror and the tails go the same way like a fan so you know which way to put them okay and of course now we've done this now we've done this pattern it's time to do the cross in the middle and then the side and then the corner caps so that's the corner caps beautiful fill it in with shields or power tanks or whatever else you see fit okay so that's that right so now we're going to do it again now of course if we look here now see this pattern you can sort of see a fork emerging all right it's not really visible there yet but as we move along you can see we've just done the end caps just done that one yeah so that means we've got to do the opposite of this like we did up here all right so it's the opposite of the one three down three back anyway you'll you, you'll get the idea I'll just get on with it and it'll all make sense so there we go that we put this here and that's another layer done so what comes next well if I go three back I can see that the tails there I know it needs to be the opposite so bang it's this one and you can even see after a while you start to recognize there's two shields there and one so bang done that's that's that pattern right there but you should always, I always go up the top and reference it on the side just to make sure. I've done something wrong there. Do do do. Done. Okay, so let's see where we're at now. We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So at the moment, this is 9 by 9. Okay, so testing complete <laughs> for a 9 by 9 by 9 reactor using the 9927 pattern. The power at recharge is 36,382. Now, a lot of people would say, well, how does that compare with the 10x10 10 10 with the other plan? Because, of course, the 10x10 10 10 is what the other one is. So, because it's actually going to be, well, it wouldn't be 10x10x10. Be 10 by 10 by 10. And you say, well, you can't extend it this way. And this is the trick. If you've been watching this long, then you've seen the tutorial on how to build it this way. But how do we build it the other way? So, obviously, if we're on top, we're on top here what do we do from here yeah and uh, the answer is you can actually build off any side you want you just have to continue this pattern mirrored along this edge that's all it is guys now I'm not gonna well let me see shall I do it now I'm feeling brave See, I have actually got another pattern, which is this sideways. Um, but there's easier ways of doing it. Um, you don't actually have to, uh, you know, do this here. You can move the symmetry point. You can move the symmetry point to here and make another block there. There's a lot of ways you could extend this. Um, and also, once this is extended outwards, you just continue this pattern again. Okay, I'm going to make... I've figured out how to do this even easier, so don't even have to move the symmetry point keep it where it is 
and as you can see I've just worked off this way you can work off that way doesn't matter all right just make sure that you come out the correct number of blocks so that the symmetry works so if we want to make another one of these over there we need to go the total width so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay we take one for the symmetry so one two three four five six seven that means we need an eighth just there okay and I'm just gonna fill this up quickly okay so now I can carry on so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna work off of the, 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 the middle so that one there that one that one would work so if I just go in here uh, we've got a line there so it's one two three and one two three and that oops whoops took away a hole there oh that's not the right hole ah no uh, whatever there you go so I don't need the hole anyway so as you can see that's the pattern right so we're gonna fill it in yeah layer one okay so what's layer two going to be? Well I can see these here are already there so I know that the tail is going to start here, one in the middle, mirror it across, mirror the other ones with the, the spiral leading the same way. Whoops, yeah, oh, oh. The spiral leads the same way, there we go. Okay, fill it in with shields. What's going on here? Okay, and then we do the end caps. Now, obviously, the two there are already in, so just build the rest of it. Okay, put one there, and then obviously, complete the cross, put the shields in. Okay. And then we're going to be doing the other side. Now you say, oh, which way is the tail going to go? Well, there's the middle. You can already see the tail there. So that means it's spiraling that way. Oops. Like so. So that's done. Fill it in. Symmetry is your friend, guys. Okay. So there we go. And then we've got the end tail. So we've already completed the first um, five by five Let's try and make sure I get this in the right spot that one's already there see so we know the reference is right so you can check it because it's the, the patterns right there on the wall <laughs> uh, and, and you can build this up as well you can build up in the same way you just copy what you did here it's very easy you just keep expanding it out uh, <laughs> So yeah, I mean, once we've got to here, which way does the tail go? There it is. So we're going to put one on there. Tail's going that way, so that means this one goes here, which means this one goes here, which means this one goes here, and there's one in the middle. And then we build our shields in. And so now we've done that one. So here we go. What we're going to do is point referencing again. Look, it's not going to be one of this pattern with the three I and mean, I call that like you know like the, the, that's like the fan blades to me and then there's another one which is sort of like a, a dip, like a tighter form where it, it spins a little bit <laughs> you, you sort of visually remember them anyway you go three back remember and then it's that one so I know that's the end caps you can see those two are there so I'm gonna put one here 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 it's one there already so uh, I'm gonna put one there and uh, oh, hang on, I've bit gone down too low. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's symmetry. And I put the crosses in. Whoops. There we go. And then fill it in with shields. And if I now go with the next tail, and you can see the tails there. So it's there, there. 
see the pattern because it's indicating to me where to go. You can see it right there. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to do uh, the uh, the top pattern, which is this one. And as you can see, it's mirrored there perfectly. So everything's gone fine. We haven't made any mistakes, hopefully. Except for there, of course. <laughs> and there we go. Now it's just been extended widthways. And like I say, by repeating that process up, down, you can do this infinitely in any direction. It seems to be the most efficient reactor at the moment. If there is another one, I'll do another one. The only one that comes close can't be mirrored in this way. You actually end up having to make it bigger. Um, and like I say, if I was to just chop off now, if I was to say uh, do one layer on top, like I've just done, and then take off like these four here, it would be 10 by 10 by 10, and you could work that out. And I might come back to this and do that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah.